Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Growing Clip Bonsai for Seniors. Today we're doing tall and lanky, our avocado. Today is uh, September 10th of 2021. It's 74 degrees Fahrenheit or 24 degrees Celsius. It's about 9 o'clock in the evening. Here's our avocado. It's, as you can see, it's grown real tall. So I'm not going to cut it off at the back, at the buds over here, because it's real late in the season. So I'm going to just cut it at the top. We're going to rake it out, and we're going to put it in our in a bigger bonsai pot. And we're going to use unmilled sphagnum moss for the bottom. The soil I'm going to use because it likes a wall-draining soil with a pH of about 6 to 6.5, which is slightly acid. So we're going to use one part worm castings, one part peat moss, three parts pine bark, which will help the soil to be acidified, one tablespoon each of Mikus and Azus beneficial bacteria in our mix. We're not going to use a screen. We're going to use an we're going to use unmilled sphagnum moss that I have soaked so that we can put it on the bottom. That will also help the roots regenerate whatever we cut off and get into the, into the pot. So right now, let me get my bucket out so I can put the soil in. I should have did that before, but I guess I didn't. So... That's all right. We'll just use what we got. So let's take out our... We got a lot of roots on the bottom, so you can see this thing was growing real vigorously. So we'll just snip. Now these could be weed roots. You never can tell. So all I'm going to do is take it out. There we go. And we got a lot of bugs. Now why am I wearing gloves? To show you not to be afraid of wearing gloves. I mean, big deal. If you got cuts on your hands or arthritis on your hands or whatever you got. Let me put this in the water so I can get the roots out real good. Put this in the water. There we go. A lot of pill bugs. So oh, we'll just throw them in the water and we'll throw them back in the yard. So right now I'm soaking it and getting all the soil off that I can. And don't be afraid if you if your hands are dry and cracked, wear gloves. Don't be afraid. That's why I'm working in gloves to show you that. My hands are dry and cracked too, so I am wearing gloves. There's another weed. Throw that out. Now this thing's gonna have a big tap root. I can see that for a fact. There we go, take all that out. Just rake it slow, take your time. Don't be afraid. I know it's late in the season, but I got I got about 10 more of these that I thought didn't grow, and all of a sudden they just took off, so it's like a force. I'll have to bring that in and show you that. Okay, let me put this on the side here so I can dump this excess soil out into our little bucket. There we go. And you can see our tap root, and you can see how everything's growing through the seed here. So we're going to let the seed die off naturally. Now we got like a double root here. So maybe we can spread them right now to get it into the pot. Because I don't want to really do any drastic root pruning right now because I want these feeder roots to grow. It's really at the end of the season, but I have to repot this one because it was really getting overgrown, overrun in weeds and everything else you can think of. So let me put it, put it in there. We're going to take our, our bigger pot. 
Just gonna throw the sphagnum moss on the top of the holes. Just like that. There we go. So this way here, whatever grows in, we can cut it out from the bottom. And whatever's in the moss is good. It'll be easy to cut. So let's take this out of our way. Now for the soil. Let me show you what it looks like before I put it in. And the pine bark is a nice fine pine bark that I found at Ace Hardware. I mean, it, re it really looks good for for doing bonds. I work with plants that like a little bit more of an acetic soil. So there, look, there it is. It's a nice free draining soil that we mixed up. We'll just put that into the bottom. Maybe you can see it a little better there. Okay, now let's take our tree and let's see where we're at. So if we put the roots out, fanning out like that, it'll sit nice high like this until this falls off naturally. So what I'll do right now is add some more soil to the sides. And then in the spring we're going to do a drastic cut. Hopefully they survive our winter in the basement because I will have nothing but whatever light comes in through the window. And that's usually how my trees survive. Now let me take my spritzer and take all the tension out of the soil. There we go. That way our roots can sit on it. But you can see how it looks when it's wet. So now we're going to take our avocado tree, our seedling, and we're going to dip and clip just some of these long feeder roots right now. About there. About there. Just like that. Because you can see in the fork here, right about uh, right about there where it's starting to come out a new root and then another fork with a new root over there. So we're just going to spread our tap roots out so in the spring we can get a better, after this thing grows, maybe in June or July, the roots will take off real nice. And the plants will grow real nice and we can then do some more root work. But right now we want this thing to survive the winter. So I'm just getting our soil into the into the pot. There we go. Just like that. Let's get some more soil in. I don't know about you, but if you can see the tree, the bulb, it looks like it's got two eyes. It looks like a pumpkin in the patch, <laughs> like the kids would decorate for Halloween. <laughs> Just the way the bulb is. So now we're going to get the soil into our roots the best we can. Okay, we'll take our spray bottle and we'll wet the soil real good. Give our turntable, put that in the middle and give our turntable a spin so we can wet it all in. Get the tension out. Well, it looks like it's tilting, so let's see, I got some water in here. It's watered in good, so all the soil gets all the air pockets out. Let it run through. See how nice it drains. Look at that. 
I put it in and it drains right away. So that's all we got. That's what we want for avocado. Good fast draining soil. That drained out real good. I'll just pat it in real nice. There we go. And then I got a feather rock here. It'll make it a little lighter. Yeah, we can do without it. I think some heavy rocks to hold it in will be well worth the effort here. So let's just put some more of our soil in the top. And this is a good mix. I can't believe how nice and fast it drains. This pine bark really works the great, the greatest, really good. I'm going to have to go to Ace and get another big bag. It's like five bucks, but you get a bag about oh, like that. There we go. Let's get it all in. Let's spray it again so we get the surface tension out. And then we're just going to water it in again. Now they say avocado is like a nice acetic soil. And so hopefully this will work out. We can try it. I just had it in perlite to start out the seeds as a growing medium. And then you switch to what you what the plant usually likes to grow in because the perlite mix is sterile and right now we got all this in there okay so now we're going to take our shears we're going to dip and we're just going to clip it off over here because Seedling, they grow tall because they're, they want to grow fast and tall, and then they start to bush out. So we're just going to cut it about here, just like that. And even though it might uh, grow, it'll be in the basement and it won't die. The new, uh, new growth won't die off. So there it is. I know it's a little tall. But if you can see when you rub your finger on the on the base of the on the trunk of the tree, there's a node here, and as I go down, there's a node right there. So in the spring, or maybe like in June, late spring, early summer, I'll give it a nice trunk chop and see what what happens. By that time, the roots will grow good. So we got the Beneficial bacteria in there, helping the roots to grow. Helping taking stress out of what we just did right now. And then you can see your soil, how nice it looks. And with the, the way the seed is, the skin coming off the seed, it looks like a little pumpkin in the ground. So something different. Fast draining, easy to do. Let's take Mr. Elephant water in the top a little bit more you can see how nice that comes right through see that let me put it closer so you can see watch when i put the water on it it drains fast so now you know that's a good draining mix for our, av our avocado because when they sit in uh soil that doesn't drain well they, the roots tend to suffer and they, they tend to, to rot. So here's our little tree. Try your avocados out. If, if they don't grow, leave them in there. It took like two months and then once in July when the weather got super hot, all of a sudden they just took off on their own. So don't be afraid to give it a try. So today's Friday night and you know what that means. It's dance night. So grab your loved one. Wives, get your husbands off the off the easy chair. Help, help you.
kick the table and chairs on the sides. Grandma and Grandpa do the same thing. Uh, single, single folk. Grab your partner, that your your loved one that you're going out with, and or a friend, and just kick everything aside. Put on some good old big band music with uh, Glenn Miller or uh, Benny Goodman, and just dance. And after you get done dancing, sit down, relax to the old time radio music of the big bands. Put on a hot cup of tea and enjoy each other's company, and just sit back and relax. So. Have a great day. Don't forget don't don't uh, forget to try an avocado. It's easy to grow. And try my soil mix. I can't believe how nice it is. Well we'll see. Time will tell. I'll put it in the in the shade. And uh, they like full sun, but just for now so the roots get to grow. I'll put it in a partial shade and let's see what happens. So you take care, everybody, and have a great night. And remember, big band music, dance, and a nice hot cup of tea at the end to relax. Take care, everyone, and don't be afraid to wear gloves. Take care.